So we've got the bacon crisped up on the top and it's just looking insane. Yeah, it's just really amazing. It's kind of hard <laughs> to not keep nibbling because we're trying to save it for the mac and cheese. Vegan crack. My name is Rachel Amma and I have a YouTube channel where I share a lot of different vegan recipes and I'm joined with Lou. <laughs> hey, I'm Lou. I'm uh, the founder of Black Arts Vegan. I make uh, delicious vegan melting cheeses. And today we're going to use my vegan mac and cheese recipe with Lou's amazing vegan cheeses. We're going to add some really amazing crispy vegan bacon bits on top and then we're going to have a slightly healthier version with broccoli inside. So to make the mac and cheese, it's really simple ingredients that you can get in your supermarket. For the creaminess, we've got cashew nuts and we've also got coconut cream. Then for the flavours, we've got miso paste, tomato puree, a bit of turmeric and some paprika, soy sauce, liquid smoke and maple syrup. I forgot to mention the nutrition of yeast. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is soak the cashews to get them nice and um, easy to blend. To make the coconut bacon, we're going to mix in our smoked paprika. This is the Very best nice. smelling smoked paprika I've ever come across, <laughs> seriously. We're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. Be careful when you're buying soy sauce because not all soy sauce is actually vegan. Some of it does have fish broth in it, so just be careful to buy a, a vegan soy sauce. Then we're going to add in some maple syrup which is going to do that sweetness and it's going to help crisp it up. And then the magic ingredient is the liquid smoke and this is your special. <laughs> My special liquid smoke in Berlin on a night out. We spent about 150 euros on hot sauce and I grabbed some of this and it's just, it's so good. We're only using a tiny bit because this stuff is potent. I think if you were using one from the supermarket, you'd probably want to use maybe like a teaspoon or so because it's not quite as strong, but this one we're just using a tiny bit. It'll be fine. <laughs> And we've got two cups of coconut flakes. We're just going to pour those in, coat them up in all that delicious sauce. Oil as well, which is two tablespoons. Coconut is crispy. And then you've added the salty, slightly sweetness, mm. and it's just, it's so addictive. Yeah, it really so is. <laughs> so then we're just going to line this on a tray, spread it out as much as you can. You can also use a bit of baking paper. It's going to go in at about 200 degrees fan and cook and crisp up. <laughs> Because it's got maple syrup in there, you don't want it to burn, so just keep an eye on it. For more flavour in the mac and cheese, we've got onion and garlic, and we're going to roast these. And then for the other mac and cheese, we're also going to add broccoli. Most people obviously want to boil broccoli, but actually roasting it's really tasty. Just cut the back to expose the garlic, and you'll see when it comes out, you can just like squeeze the garlic out, like a zit. <laughs> Drizzle with a little bit of oil. You want a flavourless oil? Um, <laughs> the salt helps bring out all the water in the vegetables. Okay, so next we're going to start making the base of the sauce. So to do that, we're going to add a one and a quarter cups of soaked cashew nuts. Cashew nuts are such a great alternative when making any kind of creamy sauce, if you're doing like a vegan carbonara. Half a cup of coconut fat. It's really thick and really rich. Make it really nice and creamy. One teaspoon mustard powder, smoked paprika, and then half a teaspoon of turmeric two teaspoons of tomato puree and two tablespoons of miso. And uh, we're just going to use a third of a cup of nutritional yeast. It's basically a natural source of B12. It's a vitamin that's really important to get a supplement of in a vegan diet. It has a really kind of umami, slightly cheesy flavour, so we're just going to add two cups of water. Don't worry too much if it looks a little bit too liquidy at this stage. You just want to make sure with the broccoli that you don't overcook it and it still has a slight bite to it. Everything's prepared, our broccoli, our sauce. So now it's time to make the macaroni. Definitely like cheese is one of the things that people struggle with the most and there's no point in, there's no point in trying to hide it. Like, you know, cheese was delicious. Tell me about all your vegan cheeses. I really wanted to recreate all the cheeses that I loved when I was growing up. I couldn't find any ones that melted well and tasted really good. All my cheeses, I wanted to go for something that melted, that browned, you could put it under the grill. There's it's so like, much creativity in this. magical. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally true. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks I'm amazing. so excited. <laughs> I'm so hungry. It's pure vegan magic. <laughs> happening right here. Oh, look at that. Look at it. It's creamy. I'm going to use some of my uh, smoke on the water, which is a lovely, smoky, melty cheese. 
really made for this sort of thing, actually. It's going to go nice and brown on the top, and it's going to have all that gooiness that you just love to see on the top of mac and cheese. Brings back all those comfort food memories when I was young of grilling mac and cheese. So now we've popped it with all, all the lovely cheese. We're going to pop it under the grill for about five minutes or so, maybe five to ten minutes, and then we can eat it. So we've got the bacon mac and cheese here, and then we've got the one with broccoli infused. So all we did was mix the pasta with the sauce and the broccoli. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's got a crusty top. It's all gooey. Sprinkle a little bit of parsley. We should just really tuck right into these. Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, that is so amazing. I don't know how to describe that. It kind of tastes cheesy, but there's no cheese involved. It's got so much flavours and so much punch to it that it's, it's not bland at all. It's amazing. It's like, like smoky, smoky and rounded, and it's got all those lovely umami cheesy flavours in it. Yeah. So we're just going to do this for the next hour? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great.